Hello everyone, this is Bevel Studio and I welcome you to our new course Blender 4 Essentials, 3D Modeling and 3D Animation for Beginners. As the name suggests, you're going to learn all the essentials of Blender 4 along with 3D Modeling and Animation tools. And although we call this 3D Modeling and Animation course, you're going to learn a lot more than that. Now, this introduction is divided into three parts. First, I will show you the overall content of the course. Second, I will talk about the advantages and unique aspects of this course, why you should choose this course. And then I will show you a few examples of what we are going to make in this course. And then we will conclude. Now I will show you all the content, all the chapters of this course one by one very quickly. So first chapter is introduction, where you will watch this video and a video about how to install Blender. Then we have Blender fundamentals and object mode chapter, where we learn all the fundamentals such as Blender's interface, how to navigate in the scene, uh, what are objects, how to work with them, how to create and delete them. We will talk about the coordinate system and much more. So the next chapter is probably the most important one in this course, 3D modeling in edit mode. Here we will learn all the essential 3D modeling tools along with a lot of practical exercises from very simple models to a bit more complex models where you will get used to 3D modeling tools and hopefully master them. So the next chapter is shading, materials and textures, which is also one of the most important chapters in this course where we'll learn to create materials, work with textures, colors, UV unwrapping and a lot more. We will also have exercises here where we try to apply materials to one of the models that we create. Next chapter is all about creating images of your artwork. How to prepare your models for render, how to create environments, how to light, how to work with the camera and produce beautiful renders of your artwork. We will also have some exercise here and the next chapter is a project chapter where we make this beautiful low poly car. The next chapter is also another project based chapter which uh, where we make low poly character. It's low poly but it's a nice guy so we will see. Then we have another project based chapter where we create this beautiful low poly village. We will model these, we will model streets, we will model houses. We create grass using particle system, we create different colorful trees. And then after we have got used to Blender's interface, you uh, learned how to use Blender, how to create beautiful models, now it's time to animate them. So the next chapter is 3D animation, where we try to animate almost everything in Blender. We will, animate, we will learn how to animate the transformations of models, how to rig models, how to create camera animations, how to animate materials and other properties. So here we have a lot of interesting lessons about animation. Finally, it's time to apply all the skills that we have learned in this course and create this final project, animation project, where we create village animation, car and character animation. Now let's move on to talk about the advantages of this course, what makes this course different, unique and hopefully better than many other courses out there. So first of all, we will learn the essentials. We try to save your time and try to teach you all the essential skills and only the essential skills. Another great thing about the videos in this course are timestamps. We included timestamps in each and every video to show you what you will learn exactly what time in the video. So timestamps will generally allow you to learn faster, to skip some parts that you already know, to jump back and forward to the parts which are more important to you in each and every video. Another great feature of the lessons in this course is quick question section. Many videos in this course have this section where you will have a chance to reflect on what you have learned. Another important thing that we should uh, talk about is projects and exercise. Because we have experience of producing online material, a lot of students kind of ask more and more projects, more exercises, more practical lessons. That's why we included a lot of exercise and projects. So eight of the 10 chapters of the course contain exercise. It means almost all chapters contain exercises and four chapters are fully dedicated to exercise. So last but not least, I think this is a really good news. We have no time lapses in this course, especially in project videos. When we include time lapses, students complain, hey, please don't include, stop, show us everything slowly with details and explanations, comments. So we just did that in this course. We have no time lapses. So here we go. 
So now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the projects that we are going to make in this course. This is one of our first models. It's a it's called the brown table. I'm rendering it with cycles now. It's not final render, so we should wait for the texture details to be visible. Another beginner friendly model that we make in this course is the slow poly car. Another very beginner friendly model is the slow poly character. We will animate him. We will also animate the car and the village. So let me show you the last animation project. So this will be our final project. I will show you everything in detail, how to create the grass, the flowers, the houses, trees, everything, and also show you how to animate them. Try to explain everything in detail. So let's take a look. So that's everything that I wanted to show you in this video. To conclude, I can say that this course is a perfect start for your journey in learning Blender and also 3D modeling and animation in general. It is concise, it's full of practical exercises, projects, challenges and essential knowledge. So good luck and see you inside the course.